In case you're just joining us this morning, we're talking about an amazing organization called Women for Afghan Women. Now, my guest this morning, he's a local entertainer who's hosting a concert to raise funds for this organization. Bobby, before we went to break, you were kind of explaining your role as to how you got involved with this organization. Uh, yes, it, it had to do uh, actually with an idea for a screenplay. Um, I've been uh, an entertainer for a long time, but, but just recently I've gotten to know uh, Anne O'Shea, a very successful movie co producer who's a local Key Wester along with her husband Brian. And uh, she uh, is uh, producing a uh, film by Quincy Perkins, a local uh, movie director and writer, of which I am co-producer. So uh, this kind of has put my focus into the movie business. I've been writing screenplays for about 25 years. Mm -hmm. And just something that I saw on the internet back in May, which really has nothing directly to do with the subject, but it provided an inspiration for a story. Mm -hmm. And the story, uh, takes place in Afghanistan during this war and an important part of it has to do with defending a girl's school against attacks by the terrorists who are trying to destroy it because they don't want women to get education they want women to stay subservient and not to be equal it's a very powerful force that women are struggling against right. so as I just started to develop this story I mean the, the ideas just flowed like water. An inspiration like this is rare. Mm -hmm. And I know, I've been writing for a long time, and wow, boom, 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 page after page, you just knock it out. And this country, it, we know very little about. Um, so I called up this gentleman that I had met only uh, six months before at my church, and I told him what I was doing, the, the thing I was writing about, and he jumped in with both feet. Mm -hmm. Because this subject is near and dear to his heart. This man actually supports two girls' schools in Afghanistan from his salary. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's, he makes a decent living, but he's not a rich man. This is a real commitment on his part. So he, mm -hmm. he actually came down here and spent considerable time in the month of June with me, uh, filling me in on aspects of the culture and the language. You know, if you're going to set a story in a place, you better know something about it. You know, right. and, right. and we know so little about this country. Mm -hmm. So um, this put me in touch with the... Uh, the whole situation. It was he, Fareed Osman is the man's name, he told me about the work of uh, Women for Afghan Women and also in particular the case of this little girl named Sahar Ghul. The Most of the pictures that you see where she really looks badly beaten are like that one. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the, before, the pictures when she was first brought in after she was found in this uh, basement. And then the, there's another one where she's looking down, she has this shawl over her head that is the that's recent the photograph. That's mm -hmm. the after, after she's been in the care of this organization mm -hmm. for a couple of years. There's another very good example. Uh, there was a beautiful Afghan girl on the cover of Time magazine two years ago with the tip of her nose cut off. Mm -hmm. She tried to run away from an abusive husband and she was caught and her nose and ears were cut off as punishment. She was left to die. Well, today she is well and she is living with an American family, again, Thanks to Women for Afghan Women. That's, that was just the, the after picture of this Sahar. This is such, such an amazing organization they, oh, because they help these women who thousands. have been so severely beaten up, not just physically, but also mentally. And yeah. now, Bobby, the yeah. concert that you're going to be hosting right here in the Keys, it will be raising funds for this organization. Let's talk yes. about the concert. Here's how that came about. Uh, this gentleman, Fareed, because, you know, he operates at the high level of the government, he has a lot of media contacts, he hooked me up with CNN. And the program is called Impact Your World. It's a series where they focus on individuals who are trying to do something to address a particular need in the world. And uh, we had a telephone interview with the producer, and she liked what I had to say and what I was doing, so they green-lighted the project. And it will appear on CNN iReports as a text article, but then I thought it would also be more interesting that why not do a benefit concert mm -hmm. and that will make something more interesting to watch than just a guy talking like this, you know. <laughs> so so right. we're going to have a concert and I'll tell you, it is going to be quite a concert. <laughs> We've got um, Clayton Lopez. Oh, he's a favorite. Now, <laughs> you know, I walked into Virgilio's one night and here's Clayton. And wait a minute, he's the commissioner, right? <laughs> the, that's his side job. He's one heck of a good musician. He, he plays is. and sings. He's fine. He he's a top-notch pro. Uh -huh. And I guess he moonlights as commissioner. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and I have wanted to do something with him for years. I know him from the Ministerial Association. I'm a lay minister at my church, and, mm -hmm. uh, and he comes to the meetings a lot of times to talk about uh, things that are happening in town. Uh, Clayton and his band, then we're going to have the Blessed Community Gospel Choir under mm -hmm. the leadership of Joan Leggett. Twenty voices. Mm -hmm. I'm going to raise the roof in that church. Oh, you will, Bob. And, you will. And I've mm -hmm. got the, we've got this nice Allen Church organ with about 400 watts of power, you know, mm -hmm. so we are going to rock the walls. I like to play it loud. <laughs> and we're going to rock the walls. And when will this be? This Bob? is this coming Saturday night, September the 8th mm -hmm. at 8 o'clock. It's at the First Congregational Church which is uh, an old red brick building with a steep peak roof right in be, uh, between Fleming and Southern Street. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 523 uh, William Street, but you, you can't miss it. It's a short block and it's right in the middle. And of course, everybody in the community is invited to this, so mm -hmm. hopefully they can make it out this Saturday night. Yeah. And Bobby, I know that we'll definitely have to be having you back on to talk more about this organization sure. and the funds that are hopefully raised this weekend. There are a few more guests. Do we have time to mention mm -hmm. them? Yep. Yeah. Howard Livingston, okay. this man, talk about charity. This man has raised so much money for charities. Mm -hmm. it's, it's wonderful. He, he's a dear friend. I played in his band for a couple of years. And mm -hmm. even back then when the band was just getting established, we did benefit after benefit. And he would pay the musicians out of his own pocket. Mm -hmm. He is a very generous, good-hearted man. Uh, Gayla Morgan is going to play the violin solo mm -hmm. on this beautiful song that Howard wrote about the passing of his father. Then... Um, a young man, this is another one of those things that just kind of came about. I'm in the church one day, uh, just doing a little practicing, and two young men walk in the door. Mm -hmm. One is a member of the Pinder family, which is an old Key West family, right. and he's had a friend named George Natal with him. Mm -hmm. So he said, uh, uh, hi, and this uh, fellow came over and he sat down at the piano and he plays concert quality piano, mm -hmm. and he sings like... Luciano Pavarotti or somebody right. just absolutely missing. Mm -hmm. I said, young man, you're in this concert. You're in the so concert. He's well, coming. Well, wonderful. And we're running out of time right now, Bobby, but they can check out the full lineup if they just make it to the concert, right? The viewers. Sure. That's 8 o'clock this coming Saturday night. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing all this oh, information. I'm going to take you. a quick break, but please stay with me. I'll be right back after these messages.